the ulnar and radial arteries go up towards the hand and on the hand itself you can see this loop shape which is the superficial palmar arch. The superficial palmar arch gives rise to the common palmar digital arteries. So they are the common palmar digital arteries because they will split into proper palmar digital arteries. So you just have to change one word. You go from common palmar digital to proper palmar digital. Now the reason we have to specify palmar is because if you flip over, you'll see there are arteries on the other side of your hand. These are the dorsal metacarpal arteries and these on your actual fingers would be the dorsal digital arteries. So notice that there are three little arches. There's that one that has a 73 on it, there's this one that has a 65 on it, and then this one all the way in the back which doesn't have a number on it. So this one with the 73 is the superficial palmar arch. So if you just know the branches of the superficial palmar arch, which are the common palmar digital arteries, and then remember the common palmar digital arteries split to become the proper palmar digital arteries. The arch that has a 65 on it is the deep palmar arch. So coming off the deep palmar arch are the palmar metacarpal arteries. Now the third arch, I don't think it's in our curriculum at our school, but I just think it's helpful to think that there are three arches and what comes off of each arch. So the third arch all the way in the back is the dorsal carpal arch and the branches coming off of that are the dorsal metacarpal arteries and remember the dorsal metacarpal arteries become dorsal digital arteries.